hello friends uh now i want to discuss over the sales fallback uh, empty call doing the empty call and uh, you is already attached you is already connected more and that time empty call is coming from the entity box so what uh, uh, how, how you will be have uh, at that time so actually here we'll see in this uh, this uh, the call flow uh, ue in or bmme and umts is there dl data notification is coming so actually i have in the last tutorial video tutorial i just have discussed over the uh, um, uh, empty call during the idle mode so in idle mode there is some paging message you uh, mme send us some paging message which contain the some information about the u identity and cn domain identity value and on that basis of your identity and smts value a cn domain identity value you ye behave like that you send the suppose that uh, you identity is uh, you, you identity equal to stmc and cn domain identity equal to ps then you send the service request if you identity equal to mc and cn domain identity equal to ps then uh, it send the attached request if you identity equal to mc and 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 and, and cn domain identity equal to cs then it send the standard service request messages so according to that uh, in idle mode uh, you behave like that you behave according to that so in uh, survey uh, in connected mode how it will be like that is dl data notification is coming from the msc and uh, after receiving the mme dl data notification message mme send the cs service notification message which contain the list of the tai uh, tracking area identity and inform the inodb to broadcast the paging message in the mentioned tais u is addressed by the mc attached page and paging for the cs data now after receiving the you know the vcs service notification message just is transferred to the ue and uh, they uh, contain uh, the information about the paging identity value and cs service notification this is basically the paging procedure for the cs service excluding the msa yeah you is in, in connected mode and after you receiving the cs service notification message you send the standard service request message to the mme to via in order to be now in order we don't know about that uh, this message is for the beach purpose and they don't know about that what uh, will be the necessary for the in order be mme receive the standard service request message and read the standard service request message uh, uh, message after uh, re receiving uh, after reading the standard service request message mme know that now you will go for the fallback to the legacy network so it actually is a precondition of the u is it is attached to the lt network now in that case uh, mme send the ue context modification request message which contain the cs fallback indicator message which contains cs fallback record and cs fallback high priority is present now cs fallback uh, indicator uh, in order we read the cs fallback indicator u context modification request message read the ue and after that uh, in order we see there is cs fallback indicator is present so now you know will prepare for the cs fallback uh, uh, cs fallback to the ue and uh, after that uh, re reading the cu context modification request message uh, it send the response and uh, uh, send the rc connection release to the ue with redirect to umts uh, network 1083t you have seen is there now what happened uh, <coughs> now you will come to the uh, umts network through using the plm search and read the sieve information like sieve 157 and 90 90 is very important message actually it contain the eops information so it is a very important message for the ue when after the call uh, after completing the call it will read the sieve uh, at that time you will reselect the lt network so before that uh, what happened after uh, doing the plm search it read the sieve uh, 157 and 90 then you send the rsa connection request and they for the cs and ps there is some uh, establishment signaling establishment will happen like uh, rsa connection request raw procedure and authentication setup perhaps setup Step, call processing connect connect neck lodgement you will see here connect connect neck lodgement this is for the call processing and uh, routing area update routing area complete for the ps call so actually uh, when you is in connected mode in lt network and moving to the umts network so also their data is uh, uh, data is uh, uh, is uh, uh, running data is actually it's the two two things is possible here if you is in lt network and uh, data is ongoing so two possibility here first you will transfer the data second you is suspend the data so after suspending the data you is moving to the umts network and umts network there is a data ps plus cs also running so 
uh, here disconnection ATH ATH command is triggered by the tester and uh, CS call is disconnected here and after uh, PS call disconnection you will come to the idle mode and it will reselect the LTE it will uh, and send the tracking area update request message to the network and <coughs> uh there is a tracking after tracking area message which contain the tala updating actually <coughs> tala updating uh, means actually you is uh, uh, register with the umts and uh, lt network both network has touch and uh, there is uh, some uh, tracking area update messages uh, happen and uh, after all this connection in umts you read the 19 and si2 qua in umts ng run which has a reselection parameter for the ut and reselect to lt with the tau procedure here <coughs> two question arises and will ask uh, to all you uh, my friends uh, just question is that when you uh, you is in uh, lt network and uh, data is ongoing so what happened when you move to the umts network data will be suspended or data will be forwarded to the legacy network so please comment your answer in comment line and uh, will come i will come with the new videos new tutorials with uh, uh, this is the for empty call will come with the mo call and also for the log analysis will come in next video tutorial and thanks for the watching the video please subscribe my video uh, and then uh, it will motivate me to create the new video thank you